Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to identify a safe site or a secure site versus an unsecure site. Check it out. All right guys, now that we're over at the computer, I'm gonna show you a couple examples of what a secure website looks like versus an unsecure website. And I just want to, just a full disclaimer here real quick is even though you go to a website that may be say unsecure, doesn't mean it's a bad website, it just means that you should be cautious of putting any kind of private information such as credit card information, social security information, things like that. And that, that goes for the flip side as well. If you do see a website that is secure, it just means that the information going between your browser and that website is encrypted, but that doesn't always mean that it's 100% secure because there are ways for hackers or attackers to get in between that and, and capture that information even though it is encrypted. So it can go either way, it's not very common, but I'm gonna show you a couple examples in just a quick way to identify the difference between the two. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome just because Google Chrome makes it real simple and real nice to understand. So we're gonna first start off with a, a secure website and we all know and love this one it's called facebook.com if you look up here on the top bar you can see the url which is https uh, forward slash forward slash uh, www.facebook.com and you see this is https usually will indicate that is a secure site i shouldn't say usually that does indicate that it is a secure site and a good another way to tell is the little padlock next to it if you left click on that it'll say connection is secure you can click on the certificate and find out what certificate it is using and how valid it is and give you a little bit more information on that. So uh, an example of an unsecured site is, let's go to cc.com, which is comedycentral.com. And you notice that it does say not secure and it does not have the HTTPS. So there's a, a few ways that it could indicate that it's not secure. One, it could say HTTP without the S, which indicates that it's not secure. And then of course it will also say not secure up here. You can again, click on that, get a little bit more information and it says this is not secure. And you'll notice because it is not secure that it does not have any kind of certificate for you to validate or get information on. So those are some two quick examples on a secure site versus an unsecured site. Another way is to actually have a internet or an antivirus on the computer. In this case, I'm using Web, Webroot. I did sign up for a quick trial on it. Webroot, as far as I'm concerned, is actually doing really well as far as kind of stepping up their game with the antivirus. And they do install an extension, which I know a lot of other uh, different antivirus uh, software does as well. They can install an extension that when you do a Google search, it will basically give you a rundown of a secured site or a safe site versus an un unsafe site. And so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that real quick to kind of give you an example here. And yeah, let's go ahead and enable that. And we're gonna do a quick Google search. Let's go over to Google. Yeah, and you'll notice if you scroll down a little bit here, it has green little check marks, basically indicating with Webroot and their threat definitions, it will say, okay, this website is safe. It's a trustworthy site. And then of course, if we keep scrolling down, let's see if I can find any kind of, but it will usually have like a yellow caution sign or a red X. And those are just some quick graphical tells on saying, okay, this website is safe. This website's not so safe, or it might be kind of eh, it's undecided, or there, there could be some potential risks. So those are just a few ways to go through and browse and make sure that you're checking some secure or unsecured websites. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you learned something new. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And another thing that I wanted to start doing again on this channel is bringing you in with a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, what other videos would you like to see on this channel? Leave your answer in the description below as well, and we will see you next time.